Bonaire, such a beautiful, beautiful island. I've had so much fun cruising around for the last week. And in today's video, I'm sharing with you all the things that really surprised me about this island. And spoiler alert, it's in a good way. And I wanted to share these things with you because I think they will help you to plan your trip if you're considering coming here. Coming up. And if you're new here, I'm Christine with Where in the World is CL and I make travel videos every week. Help you get up, get out and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. Number one is I really thought that this was a destination that was just for divers because if you don't dive, you should not come here. And that is not the case. We got divers in the water here, but there are plenty of sites because this is a shore diving destination to snorkel also. I'm at 1000 steps right now on the northern side of the island. And this is a great place if you don't dive to get in the water water to snorkel. The second one is the number of options of extreme sports. Wow! I was watching the kite surfers yesterday. So amazing. You can come here and take kite surfing lessons and the number of people I have seen riding their bikes as I've been riding my scooter around the island has been awesome. But there's a lot of options for kiteboarding, kite surfing, biking, hiking. There's a lot of things you can do on this island if you want to get pretty active. Oh, speaking of pretty active, I'm really glad 1,000 steps isn't actually 1,000 steps. I mean, can we talk about this view? I was really surprised by how phenomenal the view is. I shouldn't have been surprised, but honestly, I haven't missed a sunrise or a sunset. It's that good. And helpful tip, if you're going sunrise, Sorabon Beach on the east side, amazing. And for sunset, honestly, anywhere on the west side, so, so beautiful. is a highway. This is Queens Highway. Do you see how highway this is? You gotta share this road <laughs> with people going in both directions. So it's not exactly a well-developed island, which is why the reef is so amazing. But this is the highway, the roads, there are not that many on this island. It's a very small island, but I was very surprised by how, how the roads are. Ooh, speaking of diving, I was also surprised by how many shore dives there are on this island. It's what it's known for. Whew, these bugs, also surprising. The number, I knew it'd be a lot of bugs, but on this, where was I? Whew, I have been impressed by how many mosquito bites I have gotten on this trip. Maybe this will protect me. I am just, I have been eaten alive. Oh my God, they're in my eyes. Ow, ow. Um, uh, I digress. The number of shore dives on this island is almost a hundred and I've also been impressed by how in shape you need to be to be able to shore dive. So do your squats if you're coming here to dive. <laughs> the things about diving here is it's so popular because the reef is in phenomenal shape for the last 40 plus years they have done so much to preserve the reef and do a lot to make sure that it's in really good health for example i didn't know that if you drive a boat out here you can't drop an anchor for example it was really cool on some of my dives to see the coral reef farms but they do a phenomenal job of preserving the reef and taking care of the ocean here which by the way if you're getting some value out of this video cheers that like button consider subscribing and tell me in the comments below if you're considering coming to Bonaire or if you know of this place. I knew about Bonaire two weeks before I booked this trip. So that's why a lot of this is a surprise to me, but this is a buffet. Make sure you check the timestamps below because I laid it all out for you in case you want to jump around. All right, let's dive into the next one, which is the housing. housing on this island is super nice whether it's the residents that live here up in the hills looking over the ocean or it's the villas that you want to rent but it's phenomenal you can get really modern beautiful accommodations a lot of them have been built within the last few years but there's a really great amazing selection of vrbo airbnb etc whether it's these goats or the donkeys that are here, they do have a donkey sanctuary or tons of flamingos. There's beautiful parrots everywhere, tons of iguanas and geckos and lizards. And there's some cool stuff on this island. And don't forget, a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of mosquitoes. To be honest, that, that one I think is still in my eye. 
The next one is the landscape. I mean, I've been to Aruba before, but it's still weird to be on a desert island in which you've got beautiful cactus, beautiful palm trees, and then a beautiful ocean on the other side. But this landscape really surprised me. That's a lot of shoes. I would say the next thing that surprised me is the culture. There's really unique culture on this island. Again, because I didn't know I was coming here until two weeks before. I didn't even know this island existed. I didn't know it was owned by the Netherlands. But I've linked some interesting articles below for you to read up on it. But it's really humbling to explore the island, see the slave huts, listen to the language, primarily Dutch and a Creole language, Papiamento. But it's just really, really unique. And with this island being owned by the Netherlands, it means that a lot of people from the Netherlands and a lot of people from Europe come here. There are lots of direct flights from Amsterdam that are very inexpensive. So there's a lot of money on this island and diving is not a cheap sport. And so the prices on this island, not surprising actually, are relatively expensive compared to other places, but you'll see it. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Ooh. Surprising, going back to how active this island is, is there are so many CrossFit gyms. I swear, it's like going to New York and seeing Starbucks. There's like CrossFit gym, CrossFit gym, CrossFit gym. I digress. That was not helpful. Back to helpful stuff. <laughs> The next thing that surprised me is how empty this island is. It's insanely empty, actually. I've been cruising around with no traffic, no lines, no nothing. It's really, really beautiful. And even at the dive sites, it's really rare to see someone else on the island. And right now, as I'm traveling here in August 2021, it is the busiest this island has been in a very long time. They are slammed. It's actually really hard to get a rental car, which is why I have a scooter. But even though this island has a ton of tourists on it, it feels insanely empty. And that's a great thing. The next thing that surprised me is the water. You can drink the water here. It's purified. It's some of the purest water in the world. And I've been drinking a lot of it. It's really freaking hot, which the weather. I didn't realize that the location of this island, the ABC islands in general, are outside of the hurricane belt. And so it is 81 degrees year round and it very rarely rains. Actually, it only rains one day on this trip and it's been really, really beautiful. Another thing I was surprised by is how awesome the grocery stores are. This grocery store is super nice. You should check it out. And also the wine selection. There's so many wine shops on this island and there's no shortage of drinking amazing wine wherever you're at. Next thing that surprised me is you, you don't lock the car. In other words, when you're at the dive site, you don't lock the car because I'm diving here with someone who's been coming to this island for 20 years. And one of the things is there's a bunch of punk ass kids on the island that will steal. And they're just looking for things like your GoPro, your iPhone, your wallet, stuff like that. They're, they're not gonna take the dive tanks, but you leave the car unlocked so that they don't break the window and take your stuff. So when we go diving, there's nothing valuable in the car. Ooh, here's one that surprised me. There's not a lot of big name hotels on this island. This is the Courtyard Marriott, these really colorful little houses, but there you go. Not a lot of big hotel names. If you've had some fun with me in this video, cheers that like button, consider subscribing, and tell me in the comments if you haven't already, which one was most surprising to you. Oh, I'm surprised, not surprised, by how much I'm gonna miss Bonaire. It's been a fantastic trip, but it is time for the next adventure. I hope to see you over there. Ciao. <laughs> tell me in the comments below on a scale of one to 10, how weird you think that guy thought I was. Uh, Cause well, I'll just give you a little behind the scenes of how weird this looks right now.